सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज द पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ अवर प्लेटफॉर्म सीरीज सो टूडे वी विल सी हाउ टू एड द मूविंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन अवर गेम सो लेट्स टॉप बिफोर दैट जस्ट मेक द फ्यू एडजस्टमेंट्स फ्रॉम अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो क्लिक ऑन द एम टी स्पाइट वी सेट इट and click on the controller which we created as an empty object reset it also and also reset to the flick point and then click on the enemy empty object place it here scale down the enemy sprite point 4 and then move the enemy and adjust the box collider also next thing move the flip point and another thing is to go under the graph change the radius to 0.5 and distance to 0.01 so let's check now okay it's working If you have any problem in that comment down below. So let's start with the moving platform. Let me move the enemy platform. So let's take the this one only. Create first the empty and place the sprite under it. and this spot okay this is our moving platform again reset it under the sprite tender change the layer to mid ground also draw mode to tile let's add three okay so now let's add the script for it Save under the script folder. So we are going to move move our sprite into the x-axis. First of all, add the box collider to this. click on the auto tile next thing is adding the layer to it add the layer platform okay which we added to this platform and also to our enemy platform so let's add the script now script will be setting the position of the sprite So let's take the node called the set position, set local position. Create three vector. Here we need to set the reference for the sprite. For that we will create one variable. It will be of game object. and just drag this here we need two more variable which first will will be of the distance it will be of type integer let's make it 4 for now and another one is speed 
let's make it two for now so next thing we will add the node called gate time and next node will be sign math sign f i hope you know what the sign means it means the oscillations waves right so our platform will move here to here continuously so for this we will multiply speed with our time so we can adjust the speed and then connect it to here for the distance we will add the multiply again and connect it here and then connect this to the x so let's check now okay it's working let's reduce the distance and speed Okay, it's working fine so you can play with the speed and distance values okay we need to set the sprite here that's why it is moving here directly ok so it's working if you want to move the platform move it from the empty object don't move it from here make sure to that this position are values are at zero so next thing we need to parent this parent our player sprite whenever it it is grounded on this platform right now if we see Okay, so our player stays at one position only so we need to parent our player so for that we will script that one into the player so this is what we have done so far into the previous chapters please go and watch those videos so let's add the new script for it first node will be on update the logic will be the script will check if this player is grounded on on this platform we can duplicate our subgraph node this one but let's do another so node will be the box cost physics story with layer mask you can duplicate that one directly origin will be okay so or this is the actual origin point but we can, we need to add the offset of the box collider also so first node will be the gate position and then we will add it with the box collider offset
add these two and plug it into origin for the size it will be of the box collider size gate size for direction it will be minus 1 into the y distance will be 0 0.01 and for layer mask we will assign the platform layer this is same as we have done for this one get the collider information we can get the null or our colliding information let's check that one so right now our player is on the platform now it is on the null so let's check with this platform also if our player is on the moving platform side we need to parent our character to it so for that let's add the null check first so if it is not null then we will set the parent here we need to set our sprite moving platform sprite we can get that collider from here only for the node it will be get game object component get game object connect this one here and this one goes into the p you can add directly the variable create one variable it will be of time type game object and assign this mp sprite here it will also work so for the null we can duplicate this so if it is null then we can we need to say that does do not parent it to any object so let's see So it's working so let's let me show you to how to add the move, move it into the y-axis so just duplicate this one only move this to let's move it to here under the graph make it none and create new this one is moving platform horizontal and this one will be vertical you can copy the code from this one select all right click copy selection and paste it here just connect this node to into the wire and also assign the sprite here okay, let's rename it this one is for the vertigo okay let's see now so this one is also working so here are the horizontal and vertical moving platforms so this is it for today's video 
so till then take care and goodbye